Hello, this is Nate Yeomans, and today we are going to be discussing one of my favorite Rusty surfboards, the Slayer. Cool little alternative board that works in good and small little beach break to overhead barrels and everything in between. The cool thing about the Slayer is it's um, Rusty made mine a 510, which is four inches shorter than what I usually ride. So it's got the fish outline, but he pulls in the tail, so it uh, keeps it holds in in bigger waves, but then has a wider point further up than in the middle of the board, which gives it a fish-like fish, fish -like feel and surfs like a fish. And uh, it's good for paddling, has a volume, the nose is wider up front, so it's easy to paddle. And I've ridden it in San Clemente Beach Breaks and had a great time and ridden it in big overhead barrels with the pulled-in tail. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a fun summertime board, and then when the waves come up, you got a board that's going to hold in and work for you. The first time I got the board was actually Rusty was in Hawaii and he kind of came up with it. And that's the first time I rode it. Was in, it was sick because the season had been pretty small, so it was kind of just different than your average shortboard. But as soon as I caught the first wave, I was like, damn, he's kind of masterminded something here. The thing works insane. So the moral story, the Slayer is the bomb. Rusty has done it again in making excellent surfboards. I highly recommend everyone get one. Groms, you guys will be flaring, making me look old, and old men will be out paddling the Groms and just having a good time. So that's what it's all about. That's why we surf. And that's why you need a Slayer. So go get one, and I'll see you out in the water. Woo!